Daniel Hench... Hencha? <laughs> is this is it German? <laughs> Anyways, one of these guys' videos showed up on my homepage, and that one video had a really interesting title. Um, maybe I have a dirty mind, but <laughs> anyways, that video said that Daniel not showed but saw his grandma pleasing herself. Maybe I have truly just a dirty mind, but what else it would mean like what else it would mean grandma pleasing herself i pleasing with chocolate i don't think so but that's not all this guy's channel has tons of weird titles videos like for example here i was attacked by little girls Bruh. what the hell how attacked by little girls <laughs> my dirty video killed my gr huh? my nephew is actually my son my nephew is actually my son what? My sister is actually my daughter. <laughs> what? How your sister can be your daughter? What the hell is this? My grandfather was a serial killer. This guy has to be some kind of troll because otherwise if he's not trolling this... The, he has to be trolling this. Anyways, let's watch firstly the one I, I teased you on. Tease you. <laughs> well, I kissed my girlfriend's girl. <laughs> What 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 it what, what what the hell man? What what is this content? <laughs> I have a nude art of my sister. Sweet home Alabama, where skies are so blue. I fucked up. <laughs> okay okay, let's stop messing around and watch the first video. I ate my grandmother. He just keeps getting worse and worse. What the hell? I hope you record it. <laughs> ah, here it is. I saw my grandma pleasing herself. So get yourself a headphones because this you don't want to play on speakers. <laughs> um, let me just say first okay okay this sh not cheap or maybe he's she by these first 10 seconds we know that he's playing it he's an actor there's nothing wrong with the with the with the doing that i understand that it's perfectly natural okay he's maybe not playing it uh it's just that i was having a really bad week and <laughs> A terrible day today. And I was not in, I wasn't in, I get, I just wasn't in the, uh, I wasn't in a good mental headspace to, to process that, seeing that, um, and I just hope that now, every time that I think about my grandmother, or I see my grandmother, or I talk to my grandmother, that I'm not gonna think about it every single time, because I love my grandmother so much. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. choose wisely your words in this situation. <laughs> you can't say you love your grand. <laughs> and I don't want to lose my grandmother. I don't want to have to think about her doing that every time I talk to her. <laughs> um, so I... Uh, I'm, I'm still hoping that this is just a pure acting. That's why I'm laughing, but if, if this truly happened, then he's traumatized for the rest of his life. I went over her house today because... She lives in Pasadena, and she had a computer question. Go figure, right? Um, and I said, of course, I'll come over and help you with, your, with whatever. So I came over, and I saw that her car was in the driveway. And I go over there all the time, so I just, I just went in, you know, not a big deal. And I didn't see her around. I called out, I said, Grandma, she wasn't there. So, 
I just went over to the computer and I started seeing if I could figure out what was, you know, the problem. And a few minutes went by and then I just heard, it was sort of like a, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine someone passing by this car and <laughs> suddenly hearing ah! <laughs> A few months ago my grandmother tripped in the shower and she broke her hip and really hurt herself and I was the one that who I was the one who found her and so I got really scared <laughs> because I thought maybe my grandmother was in trouble. <laughs> and so I ran up and I said, Grandma, are you okay? And I didn't hear anything. <laughs> so I opened the door to her bedroom And she was... <sighs> yeah, come on! Tell us. So I ran back out. I said, oh my God, and I ran out. <laughs> And I keep think I just the the part that I can't stop thinking about is the the <laughs> her face was like she was like uh, I don't even <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? This is the exact reason why I hate summer. This cockroach and he's truly a cock is watching me watching this video of a guy telling us a story about seeing his grandmother. Ah. And what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Wanna, oh. <laughs> One more time. Her face was like... She was like... Oh, I don't even want to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Hopefully one day this will be a, just a silly story that we all talk about, if I can't even talk about it. But I don't even know what to say. She's called me a couple times and I've just declined because I don't even know what to say. I don't want her to feel bad, but I guess it was my fault for walking in. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to react to this situation? And this is just the, the, this is not even the top third worst thing that's happened to me this whole week. I just, like I said, I just was not in a good place to, to receive this information. <laughs> uh. I hate my life. Uh, so that was it. I waited for like a twist or something where he will say that this is a joke, but uh, <laughs> apparently it happened. His grandma funeral is gonna be <laughs> the most traumatic event for this guy. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Her face was like, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was. Daniel, hey, hey, cha! All right, I have nude art of my sister. I hope that sister is 18 years old. 21 years old, we are in America. 21 years old. Everybody, I had some guests over for dinner last night and they were made very uncomfortable by a photo that I have hanging in my living space above. The Why? Why would you have a nude art of your sister? I, I thought that he has it like in his phone, but not hanging on the wall. In a, in a living room, he said. The fireplace, basically. Fireplace. It's a photo, a nude photo of my sister that she took in the shower 
that I... I believe she didn't took it. Yeah, totally, she took the photo. <gasps> hey, she took the photo, sure, sure. Got off of her iCloud. Uh, uh -huh. That I got off of her iCloud. Okay, to translate it, he hacked her iCloud. <laughs> and I don't typically like to explain my work as an artist because I like to sort of let the work speak for itself. But in this case, I think that the explanation enhances the work because the work itself sort of deals less with the formal qualities of the photo and more about the intellectual space in which the photo resides. What the hell he's talking about? What intellect you had and you out of your sister above your fireplace? What intellect? What the ah! And what I mean by that is when people see the photo, they, they, they typically have several questions. Why do you have a nude photo of your sister hanging in your living room? Why is it so large? Because it's quite large. It's about 60 by 72 inches. I hope she doesn't look like a foodie beauty. <laughs> so it's the size of a large television. Oh, and very purposefully. How did you get this picture? Who was the photo taken for? And, and how did you acquire it? And what is wrong with you, basically? Those are all questions that I want you to be asking when you see the piece. It is supposed to make you uncomfortable. That is the point. I totally forgot like to think about why even you have a nude art of your sister of your father of someone in your house, in your apartment. What why? Why can't you have there like a picture of flowers or I don't know or something? When my family was over last night and they first walked in the door. <laughs> sorry, sorry for pausing it, but <laughs> imagine the situation. You are parents and you have a ch uh, and you have a son and a daughter <laughs> and you will walk in your son's apartment house uh, and you see uh, and you see your daughter naked. Nice. What the fuck? Is it like she's she's nude? Yeah, but on the picture there's nothing to be seen like, you know, act. Or is she also naked? Completely naked? Well, she was in shower. Who showers in swimsuit? And we can see everything. Either way, either way, it's it's you, you are a freak. <laughs> Who is this guy, man? And they saw the photo. There was this moment of stunned silence. And that is my bread and butter as an artist. If I could live in that moment forever, I would. And I was sort of just rubbing my hands together and looking at them sort of like with their mouth agape because it's very obviously my sister. And it's a very gorilla style photo, so. What gorilla style? What's gorilla style for? Like she's hairy? <laughs> gorilla style photography? What the hell is he talking about? It's not typically what you would expect to see. It would be shocking even if it was some normal, regular person. But the fact that it's my sister and my sister was there and my family was also, you know, everybody was there in the living room seeing it together. That was an additional level of the work, you know? So, so the piece kind of differs depending on the audience. The, you, that, that's what I would teach any young creative and artist. Your, the audience brings something to the work. So you have to account for that. The, the work doesn't stop at the boundary of the painting. The work is in this physical space, it's in the intellectual space, it's in the emotional space, and all of that. So I was so happy because it's so rewarding to see an audience engage with your work intellectually. And you won't be so happy after your family will cut you off after <laughs> for doing this. <laughs> Just put someone else nude art, not your sisters. <laughs> and I think that, you know, it's if you're not being controversial in some way as an artist, you're not doing anything interesting. You have to be the one who goes into that darkness with your flashlight and and discovers new territory for us as a collective. And people may not like you for it, but but that's sort of they will thank you in the years to come. So. Um, I, I don't think your parents will thank you for having a new other sister. Um, <laughs> let's watch another one. Let's watch one more video from this guy. I still hope that he means it, this is just a fun, but I guess. Um, 
Yeah, my dirty video killed my grandpa. <laughs> I would watch this video, but it has 50, 60 minutes. I'm in love with my sister. Um, that would explain why you have your sister's new art above your fireplace. I shot a waitress. What the hell is this guy? All right. The last one. I kissed my girlfriend's dad. Hey, everybody. I kissed my girlfriend's dad. <laughs> Sorry, 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 but just imagine turning on the camera. I kissed my girlfriend's dad. <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> what is this face? What is this face? It was very good. I wish it had been bad. I wish it had been weird, because then I could just say, whoa, and push it out of my head, but I haven't been able to stop thinking about Phil all week. That's his name. And he can't stop thinking about his uh, grandma pleasing and stuff. He can't stop thinking about how he kissed his girlfriend's dad. <gasps> and I don't see any world where we get together. I mean, that, that even saying it sounds stupid. It truly really sounds... The only two paths that I see ahead of me are he's my girlfriend's dad or he's my ex-girlfriend's dad. <laughs> By the way, how you even get to kiss your girlfriend's dad? Guys, don't, don't drink alcohol. <laughs> I feel a little bad too because right after it happened, I came in and immediately kissed my girlfriend. So she kind of... Oh, you taste like my father. Whoa, sweet home Alabama. She kind of kissed her dad indirectly. Uh, where, where this guy lives? Did he say it? Which, I don't know. It's just a funny little thing. Yeah, yeah, funny, funny. I was supposed to go over there for dinner tonight, but there's no way in hell I'm doing that. I can't. Jeez. I mean... And it's like, should I, I mean, I can't decide if I should tell her or not, because. Oh, by the way, guys, he has a really interesting shape of his head. That's what happens when you wear headphones. Well, you, I think you can guess. They could destroy their whole family and destroy our relationship. I love my girlfriend. I think we have, a, I mean, you know, I was thinking about asking her to marry me. Um, after this video, I kissed my girlfriend's dad. He took it to a, to the next level. I have my girlfriend's dad. I, I believe that pretty much solved his, his problem. Uh, uh, <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? I think the best, my best course of action is just to forget about it. And try to act like nothing happened. And try to not repeat it. <laughs> Because I guess you, the one way you could look at it is that they're related. So maybe if I kind of convince her to shave her head or something, then I don't know. Oh. What, what the fuck? What was that? What was that? <laughs> 96. Ah, he's not from Germany, he's from United States, but anyways, he's Daniel Hecha about TikTok star famous for his comedy driven live advice content. Ah, so it's not real, it's a comedy. He frequently gives unqualified and questionable relationship tip. Okay, don't ever listen to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he taught users that they should manage stress by taking a break to do something more stressful. Huh? More stressful in a video that received over 7 million views. He posts comedy videos, nature photos and selfies of his then 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 shit then then uh, Instagram page. God made me the mother of a school shooter for a re watching grandpa's old name tapes. I hope I gave you a good picture of who Daniel Hedja is pronunciation of a master. <laughs> right now, I don't really know if these videos are real or not. I, I don't know. But even if they wouldn't be real, it's, you have you will have at least a good laugh at watching them. Uh, so they are still better than Foodie Beauty's videos, for example.
I thank all my members for supporting this channel and of course I, I, <laughs> I support. I thank also to you that, are, that just watched this video. It's also support. It's a huge support. So thank you for that. Subscribe to this channel so you don't see your grandma pleasing herself in her bedroom. I think that's a good deal. <laughs>